moments away from the most exciting fi Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. My name is Derek Ray and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's France versus Croatia. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. Here's the side France will go with. Hugo Lloris begins in goal. Presnel Kimpembe plays alongside Rafael Varane in central defence. Paul Pogba plays with N'Golo Conte in the centre of the park. And up front, Karim Benzema plays alongside Kylian Mbappe. And the starting 11 for Croatia. Luka Modric plays alongside Marcelo Brozovic in the centre of midfield. And up front, it's the Croatian international Andrei Kramaric. And the match is underway. Mateo Kovacic and beating the defender but fair play that goes down as a very good recovery well France are the holders not too many people doubted them coming into the tournament and quite frankly they've rubber stamped their credentials so watertight at the back fluent in midfield fearsome in attack can they be stopped I'm not sure they can Derek I think they've been outstanding they've done everything we expected them to some of their midfield performances have been excellent and they've got goal scorers in the attacking areas so I can see them winning the second World Cup on the bounce they're a very very good team France should win this one well considering the form book Stuart Kylian Mbappe has got to be taken seriously here well he's a good all-round player when he's closing the ball down he does it at pace when he's linking high echelon goalkeeping there Whipped in by Griezmann. Not really the ideal clearance. Blocked it brilliantly. Griezmann. Player in the way again. So after that, a goal kick it'll be. Losing possession here. Bon Sosa. Take it away. Perish it. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the opportunity. Andre Kramaric. Wonderful block. 
But he knew he had to get to the ball, and he did. It's a perfect challenge. Pogba. Benzema. High quality defending. Ivan Perisic. Kovacic. Firing it towards goal. And he's such a highly respected goalkeeper, Hugo Lloris. Played over, and the header off target, but resolute defence. Oh, he's given us away. A very effective clearance. Keeper was never likely to be in trouble then. Benzema takes it forward now. It's always likely to be the goalkeeper's ball. In control, Griezmann as he goes forward. No problems for the keeper. Excellent refereeing. Advantage in operation. And it's in! We've just witnessed the first goal of this 2022 World Cup final. One to Sabre. Well, here it is again. He hits this so sweetly, doesn't he? That's a brilliant goal from a top-class player. So, underway again here. 1-0 the score. Bonna Sosa. There wasn't much in that offside decision. Could have been in business. Well, they couldn't keep possession. Well, there it is. France just haven't had as much of the ball, but they've certainly shown an ability to counter-attack when they win it back. I expect more of the same. I think it's been a really good performance from them so far. Yes, and maybe another break brewing here. Mbappe. Can he finish? Oh, narrowly wide. So unlucky. in terms of added time a minimum of one minute the first half here comes to an end well it's advantage France after the first 45 but plenty of time for a few twists and turns before this one is over With that, the attack fizzles out. And far from a smooth challenge. Now, will the referee produce a card? Well, deemed to have been a cautionable offence. Well, no question about it. He deserved his booking there.
This attack looks highly promising. Benzema. It might be. And there it is. A two-goal cushion now. And just look at these fans. The trophy coming their way, surely. Well, let's take another look at this ball by Benzema. He gets the timing absolutely right. And Mbappe's movement and penalty box awareness makes that finish look easy. That's a really good goal. So the ball rolling again. 2-0 the score. Number 10, Kylian Mbappe. Modric. Another successful intervention, winning the ball back. Now options are plenty. A disappointing end to the move. Kovacic. Chance to play it in. Kramaric. Here's Modric. Kovacic, body on the line. And it might be. And the challenge, crisp and clean. Throw-ins given. Well, we have 30 minutes to go. And this is Brozovic. Now Brozovic. Perisic. Well, he had a lot of ground to cover. Splendid save. Short corner favoured. Kovacic. Well, he stopped them in their tracks. Coman and a tidy challenge and threaded through by Mbappe a lovely attempt well a poor effort when all was said and done and simple for the keeper well he's made a real mess of that hasn't he what a chance that was well we have 20 minutes left in this game Karim Benzema and with that, the attack fizzles out. Andrei Kramaric. Oh, that's an interesting pass. And he's got to clear his lines. Koman. Really getting stuck in. Plenty of support here. Mario Pasalic. Well, they've given him too much space. That's a very fine piece of tackling. Coman. And France pushing forward with options available. Making sure nothing untoward happened. Ivan Perisic. Kramaric. Well, just the tackle that was needed. Karim Benzema. Takes the shot. And still danger here. And in the end, no damage done. Mario Pasalic. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Well, not to be in terms of the counter attack. Griezmann! Goalkeeper getting in the way. Superb save. And they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. He's driven in the corner. 
And a time for composure on the ball. Terrific block. Griezmann. And unable to keep possession. Well, in terms of added time, a minimum of one minute. And now it's all over. France are world champions for the third time. And there's no doubt about it, Derek. They've been the best team in the tournament. France, the world champions. It takes a massive effort to win back-to-back -back World Cups. But Stuart, that's what France have done. And they fully deserve it as well.